So apparently a lot of people like the Breath of the Wild shader that I posted, like, man, I got way too much attention for that. But there's there was actually an issue with uh, the lighting for the initial one. So uh, I've reworked the entire thing. Also, nobody could understand it because I wrote it in visual shader first and then uh, now made it in an actual written shader. But um, yeah, so it now actually reacts to different colors lights different colored lights as well as multiple lights at the same time. So let me show you how to use it. I'm gonna disable this Omni light uh, for a second just to show you. So if we come here to the material, the tint will just change the color of the albedo. The metallic property will change how metallic it is. Roughness changes its roughness, but uh, this doesn't actually do anything since we're handling the light uh, on our own. So kind of redundant, redundant thing that I've put in there, but uh, just ignore it. Shadow size will uh, change how big or small the shadow is across the entire object, not just individual parts. I'll show you how to do individual parts in a bit, but it'll change the entire object. Shadow blend changes how smoothly it blends. So you can make it non, like completely non cell shaded or have the really sharp change, like over here, or just like a small sort of smooth change between the two. Uh, shadow extra intensity will subtract from the shadow value which will make it darker. But if you set it too high, that will happen. So be careful. Shadow color changes the shadow color. Uh, light tint changes the tint of the lighting, but will also multiply with the actual light color. So if we look at this part, it's blue. If I change the light tint, uh, it'll also multiply with that. So uh, use it as you want. Rim light size changes the size of the rim light and the rim light blend changes how uh, smooth it is or how soft it is, just like the shadow blend. Rim light color will change the color of the rim light. So bring this out. You can see that's like a red rim light. And now this is a white rim light uh, or you can have like a blue rim light or something. I don't know, just uh, fiddle around with it until you get whatever you like. Use normal map, it's self-explanatory. Uh, animated will change it from uh, being static warble to a uh, moving warble. So uh, use this as you like. This isn't actually there in Breath of the Wild. I just thought it would be a cool feature to add. Uh, the time scale changes how fast the animation goes. Uh, now for the actual individual uh, sort of shadow biasing. So shadow size will change it for the entire object. Well, as normal bias changes the shadow per axis. So this will go like left and right across the face, as you can see. Um, y will change it how far up or down it is on the face, which is kind of hard to see, but it does it. And then the Z will change it how forward, front or back it goes. So play around with this till you find what you like. Light bias will do it for the light instead of the shadow. Normal bias affects the shadow while the light bias will affect the lit part of the object. So play around with uh, this. Using the view allows us to fix an issue where if you turn the camera, this kind of thing happens. Even though this is in the light, it appears mostly shaded. But by using the view vector, we can uh, fix that. And then this can change it from being, uh, for example, for acting in the direction of, in the opposite direction to the shadow, to being acting in the same direction as the shadow. So you can play around to get like a mix between the two as you want. While the view bias will change like what sort of direction the view vector is facing. So you can take the view vector and then offset it even more. So uh, I've given you guys like full control over whatever you want. I'll be the texture is the main texture while the normal map is what we're using to do that sort of distortion effect. It's actually just a noise texture with uh, seamless and normal map enabled. Bump strength changes how strong the warble is, while the noise uh, seed will change like whatever seed the noise uses. Octaves makes it more or less detailed. So setting this to one means you lose a lot of detail while setting this to six makes it very highly detailed. And uh, that should be about it. Uh, enjoy the shader. I will show it off now. Okay. Brain fart moment. I was on the wrong window. Yeah, so you can see here, uh, this is without the tune shading. Uh, it looks really bad. And then with our tune shading, you can see we got that really nice sort of Breath of the Wild look. All of our uh, shadows are animated. Uh, and they warble really nicely and they act in the correct direction to the light. The light color affects it. And uh, we get some pretty cool effects. I'll just enable SSAO and show what that's like in a second. 
if I switch to the right window again right so you can see this is without any SSL and if I enable it we get that uh, that effect so yeah this is with and without SSL so now screen space ambient occlusion will actually work uh, correctly uh, with your character mode because somebody wanted that so yeah enjoy the shader